Welcome to Weather Extra on CBS News Bay Area. I'm KPIX 5 meteorologist Paul Hagen. Every week, we're taking a closer look at a weather topic, a deeper dive than what we can do usually within our daily weathercasts on KPIX. This week, we're looking at how the new climate normals released last year tell us how precipitation patterns are changing, both here in the Bay Area and across the country. I talked about the new 30-year climate temperature normals in a Weather Extra segment last year, but now I want to focus on rainfall, which is a phenomenon that is highly variable day to day, month to month, and year to year. Climate normals smooth out those variations, taking the average of 30 years of weather data, including precipitation, to determine typical conditions for a particular location and time of year. NOAA releases a new set of U.S. climate normals each decade, and the 1991 through 2020 period provides the most recent 30-year baseline for comparing current weather. Climate normals aren't just used to describe weather. They're used to inform decisions across a range of sectors, such as agriculture and urban planning. But let's get to the data. Precipitation has generally increased east of the Rocky Mountains and in the north central U.S. and decreased in the west, especially the southwest. Of the 247 stations in the nationwide network, 70 percent of them experienced an increase in annual average precipitation. That was clearly not the case here in the Bay Area. Our fastest drying season is autumn, specifically the beginning of our normal rainy season. Average rainfall amounts have decreased by over 15% in that season, with more modest decreases in winter and in spring. Don't be fooled by the increase in summer. Our average rainfall in June, July, and August is so low, even one round of monsoonal thunderstorms is sufficient to skew the entire 30-year data set. On an annual basis, the Bay Area is seeing a 5% reduction in rainfall compared to the 1981 to 2010 time frame. The seasonal precipitation shifts observed between the two most recent 30-year normals generally consistent with the modeled and theoretical precipitation changes anticipated over the course of the 21st century thanks to climate change. Climate models predict a shift towards drier conditions in the western and southwestern U.S. and generally wetter conditions in the eastern two-thirds of the country. As rainfall in the Bay Area shifts, so does snowfall in the Sierra. Since the mid-20th century, the western U.S. as a whole has experienced declining snowpack, earlier snowmelt and stream flow, and a shift towards less precipitation falling as snow. A 2018 study shows that decades of shrinking snowpack has reduced snow-derived freshwater in the West by anywhere from 15 to 30 percent since 1955. In addition to reducing water supplies available for municipalities, irrigation, industry, ecosystems, reduced mountain snowpack and earlier snowmelt can also increase wildfire risk in western forests with abundant fuels, and it exacerbates the risk of deepening drought in the region. Now, I don't want to leave you on a depressing note, so here's the precipitation outlook for the month of March from the Climate Prediction Center. While the signal toward above-average rainfall is off to the north of the Bay Area, at least the latest data indicates equal chances of either above or below average rainfall around here. We would definitely take near average rainfall this month after the driest January-February combination on record in the Bay Area. That's it for this week's Weather Extra. Meteorologist Darren Peck will be back next week to cover another topic, and we are inviting you to play a role. If you have a weather or climate question, just email it to weatherextra at kpix.cbs.com.